What is up guys, me like here, and today we're back in action for some Resonant Rise, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna do some cool stuff today, so uh, off camera, I know last time I asked it, I was, if, if you guys want to see research on camera, well, last night I played for like five hours straight, and uh, I did a bunch of research just because it took me freaking forever, so uh, yeah, I want to just go ahead and get some of it done, so we, I've unlocked a lot of stuff here, uh, I've unlocked gold caps, um, let's see, different silverwood one cores, and then uh, portable hole, all kinds of stuff here. I've unlocked all kinds of stuff. The deconstruction table, um, all the research was pretty much the same. Also, some of these guys don't require research. You just have to have certain aspects. Like right here, you can just straight up purchase certain things. So I did that for a lot of stuff, but I'm running low on, um, actual things and I'm running out of things to scan. So today, uh, we are going to make, oh, I also uh, started on some golemancy too. I made a wooden golem and, well, I didn't make one, I got this. And now I was trying to unlock uh, clay golems. I have to purchase this, but I don't have enough stuff. I don't have enough modus or um, um, but the freaking thing, the whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna work on that and we're gonna make a, uh, a deconstruction table here and that's gonna be pretty sweet. Also, um, off camera, some people gave me some good suggestions for uh, this guy, uh, for where we're going to put our Thomcraft area. They someone said I should make it like, I think it's Erebus, uh, which uh, is from Lord of the Rings, and it's uh, not Erebus, or something, I don't know, whatever whatever it's called, I forget, but it that's that's like way too hard and complicated. Um, I'm, I'm going to do something cool for the entrance there, maybe not exactly today, but we are going to start the room today and move all our Thomcraft stuff in there, and then, um, let's see, also someone said I should make a longbow. I don't really like longbows because they require so many upgrades for like for with redstone to make them draw fast. And honestly, the the damage difference between a short bow and a long bow is kind of negligible if if I do say so myself. Like you get like maybe 10 more damage, but honestly, they get up to the 50 and 60 damage range anyways and they're both really good. So I think I'm going to stick with a short bow. And, uh, of course, you know, these short bows right here, that short bow isn't that good. And we actually need to make some Tinker stuff. I'd like to make maybe make some Manulum stuff today as well. Um, so let's come in here, and, uh, I'm going to do something. I want to do something. What do I want to do? Uh, so we're going to do Thomcraft. Also, someone said I should, uh, start using some chisel bo blocks. I think we have chisel too, don't we? Um, let's see, chisel. I, I thought, I know the new chisel mod here. Is this normal chisel? I, I don't know if we have chisel too on here yet. Uh, I know it's kind of new. Yeah, it looks like we still have the same chisel. I'm not sure if we have chisel too yet. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's all the same stuff. Nothing super new. Uh, yeah, but we will probably use chisel. Actually, I probably should use chisel for some of the wood and stuff. That probably would have made it look better. And I need to replace the floor in here too. I was just kind of working on it. I'm not going to replace it with this. This is just because I put fire here. And I have initially put the... Um, uh, the crucible right here, but it ended up burning like half my house down, so I had to rebuild it during last episode. I don't think I ever mentioned that, but uh, yeah. Also, last episode was really late, and I was really tired, uh, so yeah, I apologize. It was just kind of like a chill episode. Um, also, I'm gonna, I need some food, so I'm gonna come down here and see what kind of crops we got. Ooh, we got all kinds of crops. Look at this. We got some carrots. I'm gonna grab a bunch of carrots. We're gonna make some carrot juice out of this. Yeah, look at all these carrots. Woo! I'm gonna just go ahead and replant these guys. Okay, so we have 24 carrots. Uh, where is my, oh, you see, we can see nodes, there's like a node down there, and then we actually have a node way over there, actually, we have like two nodes over there, um, so, I want some glass bottles, and the juicer, the squeezer, uh, let's do boom, 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 carrot juice, yep, uh, let's, let's eat some carrot juice, oh, yeah, look at all that saturation, not that much saturation at all. <laughs> but it's better than normal carrots, so that's good. And we have a lot of carrots, so that's pretty good. Okay, so we have that. Um, also, I want to make some barrels today. Anyways, let's make the deconstruction table. And this guy requires a golden axe, a golden pickaxe, a table, and a thermometer. So let me... I forget how you make a table, actually. I know I just made one, like, a couple episodes ago. Also, I really support all of the stuff you... Like, all the support you guys have been giving me. Oh, look at this. A sign stable. Oh, wait. A sign. Oh, deco craft. Oh, that looks really cool. That makes me want to make like different buildings now, like a brewery. Oh, speaking of that, I want to get into growth craft. I want to do brew some L's and get some hops and that kind of stuff. And maybe the grapes even kind of look good as decoration. So we might like use those to maybe line a little paths here and there and stuff. I don't know. I also need to make some paths too. I have so many plans and it's just going to take such a long time. But, you know, this series hopefully 
is going to last a long time, so we'll get a bunch of that done. Uh, look at all the stuff. This is oh yeah, Deku, Deku Craft is the the mod that um was in Wonderlust that I really liked. Yeah, this is the prop mod. Oh yes, look at this. Uh, sign magic, lumber, farming, candy. Oh my God, we can make like different designated areas for stuff. Oh, apothecary. Yes, we can make like a like an apothecary with like a graveyard behind it or something. That'd be funny. Um. Look, there's a hanging bridge. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is cool. I like it. Oh, yeah, uh, barrels of apples. Oh, man, I want to start using this. Uh, we need to use this, guys. Yeah, we need to use this for sure. Uh, yeah, look at all the stuff, man. Oh, look at the beds. Yes, and what is this? Uh, spice rack. Okay, that's cool. I like that. And what is this? Uh, bread loaf. Yeah, we need to start. We need to decorate the inside of our buildings. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a thing that we're gonna work on. I'm not very good at interior decoration. I never really do it with Bibliocraft, but that's gonna be a thing that we do. I'm missing a block right there. That we do. We're gonna make a bunch of different houses, different themes, and we're gonna decorate them and make them cool. Uh, but for now, okay. So deconstruction table. Let's uh let's uh deconstruction table. Activate. Deconstruction table powers activate. Uh, so slabs and planks. Uh, I don't know why I'm using weird voice. So one, two, three, and then one and two. We shall make, we shall make the deconstruction table of awesome. Okay, so uh, we got the table. Boom. Uh, now we need one, two, three, and then what was this? It was a axe and a pickaxe. Okay, so six. I need a couple sticks. One, two, three, four, and then uh, we should be good to make everything that we need, and then boom, boom, there we go. And now uh, we need a thermometer. So this is just two pieces of gold, one glass, and two shards. So I think I have the glass somewhere. Let's see, uh, two gold. Oh, did I not grab the second gold? Okay, two gold. Uh, no, I guess I don't have any glass. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, 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 we do. Yeah, we do. And now two shards. Let me go grab some shards, and then we'll be able to make this guy. So, eh, okay. Uh, and then two shards, since that's the one we have the most of. Let's just uh, go ahead and boom, boom. Can I just make this normally in here? I think this is going to be like a normal uh, crafting table. Okay, but so boom, and then boom, and then boom, and then boom. And deconstruction table, nice. Oh, I also made a gold cap one with gray wood, and I went around and filled it up just as we can kind of use it for that. So we have a deconstruction table. So what this is used for is you. Oh, I, I don't want to do that. Um, if you need certain aspects, it's gonna break items down into their most primal aspects. I'm pretty sure. So if you run out of things, like someone commented down below and they said, you know, like how you have so much research, you ran out of stuff. Well, I have, I've managed to scan a lot of different things and I've also combined a lot of this to unlock different things so I can scan as many things as possible. And I'm running low myself. Like all the basics here, I really need really bad. Like I have zero air, which is using a lot of stuff. And I need this to do is research and I have like one ordo and that kind of stuff and this is all really important You need it. So uh, to get this stuff uh, we can look like stuff things that have ordo and things like that Like let's just do a carrot here. Let's just do a carrot So we're gonna see so this is gonna break down and I'm not even sure I guess we didn't get anything on that I'm not sure exactly how it works. I need to do a little bit of research on it okay so the, i just i put some gold in here and this is just like one second later i put some gold in here and it went down to air so i i don't have like any air right now so what i can do i think you can just scan it yeah wait no no that's just the deconstruction table wait a sec wait a sec uh so how does oh i see oh i see so this gives me Okay, so you just click on it right there, and I'm getting Ordo right now. So, yeah. I, oh, Entropy. Okay, I see. So, you just click on it. Okay, awesome. It uh, looks like gold is really good. It, it automatically goes down into stuff really easily. And we're getting all kinds of Ordo, ordo and Air. Anyways, you throw stuff in here, and then that's how you get this. Look, we have four Air. Uh, we would had only one Ordo before, but we have three now. Um, and then it also gave me uh, this. We have more Perdicio, and now we have more fire. And yeah, this is really cool. I like this. This uh, helps out the process a lot because I'm running a low in all the primal as aspects. Looks like gold is really good for most of them, actually. Um, and look, there's a chance that they fell too, so that's a thing. Okay, so I'm doing the node preserver research right now, and I almost have it. I'm also doing the master node tapping. This helps with, uh, you know, so you don't like overuse a node and like lose certain certain aspects and that kind of stuff. And it helps you tra uh, drain uh, stuff faster, like this whole uh, line of quests here. Anyways, uh, this is what I have right here. There we go. So we have node preserver. Awesome. 
And then I'm gonna see what does this require here? Oh yeah, this this isn't that bad. Okay, so uh, this is the master no tapping, and this is seriously like five seconds later. I could have done this on camera. Um, I'm wasting a lot of stuff here, but yeah, we got it, and uh, that one's pretty good. Master no tapping, sweet. I want to take a look at these guys actually. Let's see. So we have node preserver. Uh, preserver, you now have better control over the amount of viz you draw from nodes. You always leave at least one viz of each aspect in each node, unless you were sneaking. Be warned, this level of control is not possible when using wands crafted from normal wood or iron. Okay. And then uh, master no tapping as uh, you have added further refinements and methods used to tap aura. Uh, you're now able to draw uh, viz three times faster than normal. Nice. So that's gonna. Oh, now now the next one is uh, we can actually do node in a jar and transfer nodes. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so I thought uh, we need barrels because we're running out of storage room. So I thought we'd just go ahead and make them on camera. Uh, I guess it's not really that important. I could have made them off camera, but I figured, you know, why not? Let's just do it. Let's just do this, man. Uh, let's see. So we have eight barrels. That's uh, that's pretty good. Let's see. Can we make three more? Okay, and then uh, we're pretty much out of wood. But yeah, we got 11 barrels. I'm probably just going to store, you know, things that stack. Uh, that makes sense. Like uh, we have a bunch of cobblestone, some dirt, and then all the different types of dirt or stuff like limestone and maybe sand and that kind of stuff. So yeah. I'm um, not sure where I'm going to put them though. Uh, maybe out here, I guess, since this is kind of like my work area temporarily for now. Yeah, I'll probably just stick them out here. Okay, we're back. So, uh, I've actually been working on a new storage area. And I know this is kind of random, but uh, I, I this this stuff out in the open doesn't work very well. And, uh, you know, it just feels kind of crowded. So, I've built myself a new little storage area. And I'm still kind of working on it. It's not completed yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm working on it. And this should be big enough. And it actually is a room. And it looks good and that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to make some glowstone. Let's see. I'm going to... I always like... This glowstone and that glowstone. I always choose the same glowstone, though. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with this. And we're going to make a little spot here. Let's see. Uh, boom, right there. Sure, why not? And then we'll just... Uh, actually, maybe I should just do this straight in the middle. And then uh, we got three. And then boom. And then boom. Let's, uh, let's stick some glowstone in here. Light up the situation and see what we have. Yeah, I think this is going to look pretty good. Yeah, let's see. And then uh, this guy right here and then right here. There we go. Awesome. So, yeah, we're going to – this is going to be the new storage area. I'm probably going to stick all maybe a bunch of barrels back here or maybe barrels halfway through and then chests on the other side. And then we'll have – I think I'm going to move the Tinker's Forge over here and actually start building a decent-sized Tinker's Forge. And then uh, I might – fit a bunch of the furnaces like into this wall right here. I'm not sure. I'm just going to kind of play with stuff. But yeah, we definitely need a new storage room or, you know, like work facility area. And I think this is going to work pretty nice. Okay, we're back. So I'm doing flesh golem research right now. And uh, there we go. I got it. Boom. Done. Awesome. Also, uh, I finished our little, our little, oh, uh, tallow gums. Uh, okay. So I've been trying to get all the golems because I thought maybe we could like automate some f uh, crops and farms and stuff with them. So right now I have uh, flesh golems, clay golems. I still need to get stone golems, tallow golems, and whatever this is. So let's see. What does tallow golems require? Oh, wow. That's kind of a hard one. It look, Well, it has five. I don't think I've done any research with five yet. I could be mistaken, though. So I went ahead and finished our little area. Um, it's not completely done, of course. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I made a bigger. This is a 7x7 seven seven smeltery. It's bigger. And I was smelting right now uh, molten viroxorus or whatever. Viroxorus. Um and I went to the nether and got a bunch of stuff. Also, I found a bunch of ore nodes, so I've got a little bit more uh, research points I can uh, attribute. And I didn't really get anything great. Um, I also started a mine shaft back there that went down to um, bedrock because I was looking for adamantine uh, because I want to make tartarite. So yeah, I can't. I haven't found any though. Um, I think it's pretty rare. I don't know. Tartarite requires a lot of stuff. Let's see. Um, tart. All right. Yeah, this uh, this stuff is probably the best that you can get as far as I think amethyst is actually better than this, but that's only in the bombs of plenty dimension. Uh, I don't think this is like mod sauce where you can find amethyst everywhere. Uh, but yeah, I think tartarite is the best that we can possibly get. I think it's uh, outweighs uh, manilium uh, a little bit. But yeah, we got a uh, you know this does nine attack damage. Um, let's see, you know all the stuff is really good. Maybe it might not be good for tools. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at it for tools. Looks like the mining speed is not that great, but, you know, I haven't looked at the manual mining, mining speed either. Um, okay, so uh, for this, let's see, uh, Molten Tartarite. Uh, for this, you need a Tolaris and Adamantine. I don't even know where to get this out. I need to look that up or whatever. But uh, I went ahead and made, I made us some stuff because I figured 
Uh, I don't really have that much uh, much Osmium, but as you can see, I have a crap ton of this. And I looked up the sword, the Viroxy sword or whatever. It actually does the same amount of damage as a Diamond Sword. And I can easily repair it. So I figured, why not? Let's make a sword out of this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and repair the hammer a little bit more. Um, the only problem with uh, the this is the tools kind of suck. So the mining speed is really slow. Uh, but I want to go ahead and make a sword. We'll try it out. I don't know if with the Tinker's thing, if it still adds poison or not. Uh, we'll see. Uh, repair material, 3.5 hearts, 7 attack damage. Okay, well, we got a, yeah, we got a green sword. <laughs> we got a green sword. Yes, I kind of wish I could make a Paxel out of this, uh, but, uh, whatever. Also, I want to make, uh, I want to make the arrows here. We're going to try out the arrows. Uh, where are the arrows at? Uh, stuff. <laughs> Can I not make arrows out of these? What the heck is going on? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay, yeah, I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to turn that into a fletching or whatever. So let's just uh, let's grab a fletching. Uh, boom, and then fletching is this guy right here. Let's turn this into a fletching. Boom. Okay, so now, now we should be able to make this into a thing. Um, okay, I guess not. I guess that's not a thing. Um, okay, well, you know what? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm doing something dumb. It's really late right now. Actually, this is the next day. Um, if you guys are wondering, this is like the next day and it's super late at night. And I'm just kind of working on stuff. So, yeah, I uh, I got all this done. This is all done. I think it looks a lot better than... And I repaired the hillside. It looks a lot better than what we had right there. And uh, all that kind of stuff. I still need to... I'm going to do some more Thomcraft research and stuff. So, I'll be back here in a second. Okay, so I just finished the research for Infernal Furnace. And uh, this is going to be pretty uh, freaking amazing because... If we build this guy, then we don't have to worry about normal furnaces. So I think I'm going to actually get the stuff ready to build this guy. It's going to be uh, freaking awesome. Where is it at? Uh, where is the Infernal Furnace at? Hmm, artifice. Uh, right here. So this shows you exactly. So we just need obsidian, uh, nether brick, and lava, and a iron bar. So I guess I'm going to get all that stuff ready. And we need... 50 Terra and 50 Ignis. I think I can do that, actually. Uh, let me let me look at my wand right here. Let's see. What is... This holds 50? So we have uh, 50 Terra. We don't have 50 Ignis. So I'm, I'm going to have to worry about that. Okay, we're back. So uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to build the Infernal Furnace. So I went... And I have a couple fire nodes. There's actually one fire node in the nether. And then I found one here in the overworld as well. As well. Uh, are you serious right now? <laughs> Are you freaking serious? I, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was expecting it just to break like uh, grass or something automatic automatically and let me place the block over top of it or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We don't need any of this. So yeah, we're going to build the infernal furnace here. And the reason I'm putting it outside is because we need room up on the roof here. Uh, so now, now what we do is this one, this right here, boom, boom. Boom, boom, and then uh, we stick a iron bar up top, like so, and then lava in the middle, there we go, and then I guess, uh, let's see, what else is there to do, uh, what's the last step here, uh, it's just the same thing, okay, okay, so one, uh, two, three, four, there we go, and I actually think I'm going to try to build two of these, and I'm going to try to automate it so stuff can go inside of this. Okay, so we have the entire thing now. Let's uh, let's click on it. Boom. Turns into an infernal furnace. Nice. Uh, let's take a... What I want to do is I want to take another brick here. And then... Oh, yeah. I'm going to... Um, let's, uh, let's jump down. Uh, there's something from Batania that actually is going to help us automate this. And uh, it's really cool. I forget what it's called, actually. Let me, let me look this up. Uh, Batania... Uh, it is called a open crate, I think. I think it's called an open crate. Yeah, right here, an open crate. And it actually drops things through the bottom of it, any items that are set and put inside of it. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to help us out. So, it's really cheap to make. It's just living wood like so. We get an open crate. Uh, let me get back on top of this guy if that's even possible. Um, let's see. Let me break this guy. Eh. And then we want to do a little bit of this action. Let's, oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so open crate. And then uh, anything that goes inside of this, I think this is how it works anyways. And then I'm going to take a hopper. We're going to stick a hopper like so. And then we are going to stick a chest. Actually, you know what I could do? You know what I could do? This could make it easier, actually. Yeah, this could, this could make it way easier. Wait a sec. Oh, no, I won't be able to access it anyways. 
Um, hmm. You know, whatever. I'll I'll worry about it later. But if this should work, like, let's let's for example, uh, do I have anything that can go in here? I don't think I have anything right now that can go in there. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's 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 jump down here. Let's grab some stuff here. Hey, zombie, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, you're cool. You're cool. You're cool. Wow, dude, that guy did a lot of damage. Holy balls of flame and glory. Uh, let me grab some, just a stack of sand here. Uh, let's come outside and then let's stick this in here. So does this work? Like, does this not work? I thought the open crate. Oh no, it does work. It does, it is working. Yeah, there we go, look, glass. Glass, there we go, perfect. Now, there's a few things we can do to speed this up. I don't have the technology to do this yet. Um, you can put arcane bear bellows on the side, uh, which speeds it up, and you can also have a a jar of like ignis or whatever that it can take from to speed it up. We'll probably do the arcane bellows uh, because we don't have access to like nodes and well not nodes, uh, freaking jars and stuff yet. We'll do the jar thing eventually. I'm probably actually going to stick a second one here. I'm gonna probably build it off camera, do the same setup, and then what we'll do is we'll have like a chest here that we put items in and then it'll go up to these top chests and then it'll be an easy way to automatically get stuff. So yeah, look at this. This is freaking amazing. I love it. Um, so yeah, we automated it and that's that's pretty cool. Um, I'm really excited about it actually. Uh, Infernal Furnace. And you know, this is pretty much just a free furnace. It does everything a normal furnace does except for it's free. And it's not really slow either. I mean, it's pretty quick. You see, uh, it's already nine glass. So yeah, it's that's freaking amazing. Oh, also, uh, let's see. Does this... Uh, I made some alumite. What I'm going to do is maybe next time we can make some manulum. I need to go to the nether and mine some uh, stuff. But what I want to do is let's uh, let's go ahead and put this away. And then we are going to tell this to go on to the alumite. And then we're going to make a pickaxe. And this pickaxe is just going to be temporarily a temporary so we can make a, um, uh, a thing here. Uh, let me throw some of the stuff in here. Yeah, it's just good. So we can make a pickaxe. We can get cobalt and ardite and that kind of stuff, and it's really going to help us out. So, let's just boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Alumite pickaxe. Sweet! Okay, guys, and with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and call the video here. I actually had plans to do a uh, infusion altar setup today, but I saw the infernal furnace, and I was like, hey, let's do that instead. Plus, I spent, like, hours mining in the nether and getting all this stuff, and we made some tinker's tools, and I think the episode turned out great. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and click the like button. It really helped me out. Um, I love y'all's faces. And I'll see you all for the next one. Also, I'm really so I'm really appreciating all the support and you guys are giving me on the series. Like so many comments, so many likes. It's freaking amazing. I love you. And uh, yeah, here's to you know 100 episodes or more, 100 more episodes. Even though we haven't even rolled on episode five or something. But yeah, the point of the series, I want to take it slow. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch. That's why we're starting out with Thomcraft because I feel like once you get to an, a certain point in tech mods like things like thumbcraft doesn't don't feel as useful even though they are useful um even in game especially with all the add-ons we can make like the corium pick and stuff and that's just going to be super op but uh yeah i want to start with this kind of stuff just because i think it's fun i haven't played with it in a while and uh, we're gonna take this series slow we're gonna do all kinds of cool stuff i have plans for days anyways later